Hi everyone and welcome to Germany for Student channel. Today is the first lesson of A2 level of German language course. And today we are going to talk about nominative case and accusative case in German language. We will use the concept of nominative and accusative in the upcoming lessons. Therefore, it is important to understand this concept thoroughly so that in the upcoming lessons, we can focus on the new concepts. So let's start with the lesson. We will first see what is nominative and what is accusative. Nominative is the subject of the sentence. Someone who performs an action in the sentence will be the subject of sentence and subject of sentence in German language is called nominative case. What is accusative? Accusative is the direct object of the sentence. And what is the direct object or how can we identify the direct object? Someone or something that receives an action is the direct object. And in German language, direct object is called accusative case. So let's summarize. Nominative is the subject of the sentence. And how do we identify the subject of sentence? Someone who performs an action will be the subject of the sentence and subject of sentence is called nominative. Accusative is direct object of sentence. And how do we identify the direct object? Someone or something that receives an action will be the direct object and direct object in German language is called accusative. The first example is der Mann findet einen Stift. The man finds a pen. In this sentence, there are three different parts. The first part is der man. Second part is verb finden, which means to find. And we know that verb will be conjugated according to the subject of the sentence. The set third part in this sentence is einen Stift, a pen. Now let's try to identify the subject and the direct object of the sentence. We have learned that someone who performs an action is the subject of the sentence and someone that receives an action is the direct object of the sentence. So in this particular sentence, the man is performing an action. So der man is nominative and the action is being performed on a pen because it is something that is being found. Therefore, Einen Stift is the direct object of the sentence or the accusative case. It means that Stift is a masculine noun and we have to use the indefinite article from the accusative case because Stift is being found. It is the object of the sentence and object of sentence is accusative. Therefore, we have to use indefinite article Einen for a masculine noun, Stift. Now let's see this concept in another way. There are two different types of questions that we can ask here. Where findet einen Stift? Who finds a pen? Was findet der Mann? What does the man find? Now, if we look at the first question, where findet einen Stift? We are asking about who finds the pen or who has performed an action. And someone that performs an action is the subject of the sentence. So whenever we ask a question by using the W question word where, the answer will be nominative. So we have to use the nominative definite article for man, which is dare. The second question is, was findet der man? What does the man find? So here we ask a question, what is being found or on what the action is being performed? And we know that something that is receiving an action is the direct object of the sentence. If we ask a question by using the W question word was, then the answer will be direct object and direct object in German language is accusative. Therefore, we have to use the accusative indefinite article in this case, which is einen Stift. 
Now let's look at the next example, which is die alte Frau findet eine schwarze Socke. The old lady finds a black socks. Now in this sentence, again, there are three different parts. Die alte Frau. Finden is the German word which is conjugated according to die alte Frau and it has become findet. And the third part is eine schwarze Socke. Now let's try to identify what is subject or what is the nominative case in this sentence and what is direct object or accusative case in this sentence. We know that someone who is performing an action is the subject of the sentence. Therefore, in this sentence, die alte Frau is the subject of the sentence and it is the nominative case. What does it mean for this part of the sentence to be in nominative? We have to see what noun we are using here. We are using a noun Frau. Therefore, we have to use the definite article of a nominative case for a feminine noun Frau. And we are also using one adjective, which is alt, which means old. And we know that we have to use a specific ending depending on two things for adjective. First, in which case we are using it. And the second thing is, what is the gender of noun? So here in this part, we are using a feminine noun Frau in nominative case. Therefore, we have to use the adjective ending for a feminine noun in nominative case, which is we have to add an A at the end of the adjective. Therefore, we have used die alte Frau. Now let's move to the accusative part. Accusative part can be identified by the fact that something that is receiving an action is the accusative part of the sentence. It means that we have to see what is the gender of the noun. Here we are using a feminine noun, zoke, which means socks and we are using an indefinite article eine and an adjective schwarz. But since this zoke is in accusative case, therefore we have to see what is the adjective ending for a feminine noun in accusative case and what is the indefinite article in accusative case for a feminine noun. And we know from our previous knowledge that Whenever we use a feminine noun in accusative case, along with indefinite article and an adjective, we have to add an A at the end of indefinite article and we have to add an A at the end of adjective. So it will be eine schwarze Socke. Now let's look at another way of identifying the nominative case and accusative case in a sentence. And that is by asking the questions. So if we ask a question with a W question word where, then the answer will be always nominative. Therefore, die alte Frau will be the nominative case. And whenever the question is asked by using the W question word was, then it will be the accusative case. So was findet die alte Frau, die alte Frau findet eine schwarze Socke. Therefore, we have to apply the rule of accusative on the part of the sentence which is being asked by using the W question word was. Let's look at another example. Das kleine Kind findet sein Spielzeug. The small child finds his toy. Again, there are three parts of the sentence. Das kleine Kind is the first part. Finden is the verb which is conjugated with respect to das kleine Kind and it has become findet. And the third part of the sentence is sein Spielzeug, his toy. Now, now let's try to identify 
accusative and nominative part in this sentence we have learned that someone who performs an action is the subject of the sentence and is nominative case and something or someone who receives an action that is the accusative or direct object of the sentence so in this sentence thus kleine kind is performing an action he finds something so he is the subject of the sentence and is in the nominative case which means that we have to use the nominative article and nominative adjective ending for kind which is a neuter noun and the definite article for a neuter noun in nominative case is thus and the adjective ending for a neuter noun in nominative case is with an a at the end of the adjective therefore we have used kleine and to identify the accusative part of the sentence we have to see what is receiving an action so the toy is being found so toy is something that is receiving an action and something that is receiving an action is the accusative which means that we have to use the possessive pronoun sein in the accusative case for a neuter noun because spielzeug is a neuter noun another way to identify nominative and accusative is by asking the questions so if we ask the question with a w question word where like where findet sein spielzeug the answer of where will be the nominative case so thus kleine kind is nominative and if we ask a question with a w question word was the answer of was will be in the accusative case in german language so sein spielzeug is the accusative case in this sentence let's move to the last example die kinder finden einen hund the kids find a dog this sentence also has three parts die kinder the children finden is the verb of the sentence which is the second part of the sentence and the third part is einen hund a dog so let's try to identify nominative and accusative in this sentence we know that someone who is performing an action is the subject of the sentence and subject of sentence is nominative case therefore the kinder in this sentence is nominative and they are finding a dog therefore the dog is being found and dog is in accusative case which means that the indefinite article that we have to use in this sentence will be from accusative case which is einen because hund is a masculine noun another way to identify accusative and nominative is by asking the questions and if we ask a question with the w question word where like where findet einen hund the answer of where will be nominative so d kinder finden einen hund and if we ask the question by using the w question word was like was finden d kinder d kinder finden einen hund so the answer of was is accusative case and answer of where is nominative case i hope this topic nominative and accusative will be clear to you now this topic will be used in the upcoming lessons therefore it is important to understand the, this concept so that we can focus on the new concepts in the upcoming lessons thank you for watching the video if you haven't subscribed my channel please do it now and share it with your friends so that more people can get benefit of this simple explanation thank you bye